guys, this is Marie, and I'm back with another video. And this video is going to be Hermit Crab Shell Guide. So let's get started. So in this video, I will be showing you and talking to you a little bit about different types of shells, what size to pick, and which ones are best for each crab. So let's go ahead and get into it. Now as you guys can see at the top of this video, this video is going to be all about hermit crab shells and what sizes to pick and which hermit crab is the best hermit crab shell for your hermit crab. So let's go ahead and get this video started. Now as you guys can see here, these are all of my hermit crab shells. I do have a little bit more inside of the tanks, I just didn't want to take them out. So I figured this would be a nice little bundle of shells to show you for this video. Now I will be talking to you guys a little bit about shells for purple pincher hermit crabs and Ecuadorian hermit crabs. Those are the only hermit crabs I do currently have and been had for a very long time. I have always had purple pincher hermit crabs for many, many years since I was a little girl when I was in middle school. And I currently, over the last three years, finally found Ecuadorian hermit crabs. So I'm super excited to have that type of species of hermit crab with me. The hermit crab that I have that's an Ecuadorian, it's a male and I've had him for over three and a half years and I cannot believe how wonderful that Ecuadorian hermit crab is. He is so sweet, super fast, and he is just the best thing that I have ever had and found when I was searching for Ecuadorian hermit crabs. So these will be the shells that I will be talking to you guys about land hermit crabs for purple pinchers and Ecuadorian hermit crabs. Now, I, do, I just want to let you guys know that there is other type of hermit crabs out there, like strawberries, the blueberries, and ruggies, I think, and there's a couple other ones, but I'm not really information in full about what type of shells and a little bit, I don't know information about those type of hermit crabs, so I will not be talking to you guys about those. So if you do have those type of hermit crabs, um, I would suggest maybe just clicking off this video and maybe doing a little bit more search to find a video that do have those type of hermit crabs. But some of these shells might work, I'm not exactly sure, and I just don't want to give you guys the wrong information. But I definitely will give you the correct uh, questions and answers and definitely the right ones to information for your hermit crabs if they are purple pinchers and Ecuadorians that I have learned many over the years. So let's go ahead and go into more detail about these shells. Now with hermit crabs, you definitely should have a lot of shells on hand and in, inside of your tank, especially if you have more than five and up of hermit crabs. Hermit crabs absolutely love shells and they will change as often as they can if they can fit and find the right shell for them. So I try to have as many shells in different shapes and sizes that I can in my um, hermit crab tanks. So when it is time for them to change or feel like changing, they will have that different variety of shells. Now this is just a little pile that I do have. I definitely want to get more. I do need more and I need to find more and I will be ordering more hopefully soon and I will also go into more detail of where you can find your shells because it's been very difficult over the many years of trying to find shells. I recently, probably the last maybe four or five years, finally found the right areas and the right spots to find shells. So it is super hard to find shells. I get that question all the time in other videos. So I will go into more detail of where you can find shells and what's the best area in shops and stuff like that to find them in. So here is all my shells. Like I said, I have different variety shapes, uh, colors, sizes, and everything. Now with shells, you should always have natural shells. Never have painted in your hermit crab tanks. Always have these beautiful natural shells. These shells are perfect for your hermit crabs. These are the type of shells that you will find for your hermit crabs when you go into a different type of store or definitely when you order online to get your shells. These are the ones that you want to buy and pick out. Please do not order any kind of type of painted shell. These are bad and toxic for your hermit crabs and you do not want to hurt your hermit crab and they will definitely eat the paint off the shell. So you don't want your um, hermit crab to get sick and die because of that bad hermit crab shell with the paint on it. 
So make sure when you order shelves to definitely get these type of variety of shelves that are beautiful and natural that your hermit crab will love and have for a super long time for the rest of his life. So here are all the different varieties that I have. I'm going to go ahead and separate, separate them in two different piles, one for Ecuadorians and one for purple pinchers. And then I will just talk to you guys a little bit about the Ecuadorian and purple pincher shells of which ones would be best for your hermit crab. So I will be right back. All right, so here is all the hermit crab shells. I have separated them between purple pincher hermit crabs and Ecuadorian hermit crabs. Now you guys could probably tell that this side is the Ecuadorian and this side is the purple pinchers. Now I do not have a lot of Ecuadorian hermit crab shells, so I definitely need to get more. And also my um, Ecuadorian hermit crab is super, super picky about his shell. It took him over two years to finally change shells that he is in now. Ecuadorian hermit crabs are super picky and they will be stubborn where they would take a super long time to change a shell. If they do not like the shell, they will not move out. They will stay in that shell till whenever they find one. And even if you put a whole bunch of different types of shells inside of that um, hermit crab tank, Ecuadorians are super, super picky and stubborn for that reason. So here is some of the shells I do have for my Ecuadorian. Um, this shell right here are the most popular ones that I've seen. This is the shell that my Ecuadorians actually came into when I found them at Petco about three years ago. Um, I have watched videos on YouTube a while back and found out that a couple of people actually found Ecuadorian hermit crabs by accident at Petco. So I was in to the point where I need to go find some Ecuadorian hermit crabs and I went to di two different type of Petco's and I actually found the Ecuadorian hermit crabs. So I did have probably about six or seven of them at that time but a lot of them did not last and end up dying. So the last one I have is my uh, male Ecuadorian hermit crab that is named Coconut. And when I picked him up, most of my Ecuadorian hermit crabs were in these type of shells. They are nice little shells. Um, they're very super small, and Ecuadorians are very big and huge um, hermit crabs. And he was actually literally inside this little bitty shell. And it was so crazy how um, the Ecuadorians are in here. They don't like that long, um, pointy out point where they would. Um, be able to stick themselves inside of it. They like those short round ones. These are actually called D shells where the round part is actually shaped like a D. So they prefer more of these type of shells than they do any other type of shells. So if you have an Ecuadorian hermit crab, definitely try to find the D shaped ones or the best ones to find. So. He was actually in this one. This is the one that he was in for almost three years. And I actually had a little bit more bigger one of the same size and shape and color of the shell. And he finally moved out of this one and went into that one. Now, since then, I have not been able to get him out of another sh that shell into another one of these. Like I said, he's very picky and stubborn. And that's Ecuadorians. That's what they are. They are very picky and stubborn hermit crabs so but he is happy and healthy and he just loves his little show so but here's one of them then you have this one you can probably see a little bit more better of the d shape of it this is more plasticky and i figured he would like this because he would give him a lot more room and stuff but he is not very interested in this so i just keep it just in case of my purple pinchers decide to go into one of these they will go into these but more it's Ecuadorians that would actually go into the D-shaped ones. So I have different varieties and different shape ones. Here's another one that's a little bit more bigger. And then we have this one. This one's a little bit more smaller D-shape. So they probably won't go into this because it's a smaller opening. They usually need that bigger, more fatter opening like this, like the actually D-shape. But I did have a couple of purple pinches go into this. But Ecuadorians, if it's probably like a little baby one, it would probably definitely go into here. But adult one, it would probably not. 
And then here is another one that's a little bit more heavier. So I seriously doubt it if he would go into this, but I just have it just in case, you never know. And then these are more popularized CDs all the time. These are actually good for um, Ecuadorians or proper pencils. It doesn't matter which hermit cup you have, these would be perfect. These are the D-shaped ones too. And either or hermit cup would definitely like these, so it doesn't matter. And then when I used to have the other Ecuadorians, I did actually have one that was in this type of shell. And as you guys can see, this is the D-shaped one too and a lot smaller and actually had a good size hermit crab that was in here. It was so crazy how they were in these shells. It's a beautiful natural shell, but it's too small for Ecuadorians. And I actually had um, an Ecuadorian in here when I had him. And it's super tiny and small. I definitely won't put this in there if I ever find an Ecuadorian that was a baby one. This would be a perfect size, but I just keep it because I absolutely love it. It's a very beautiful shell. And you never know that if I ever have um, purple pincher hermit crabs that are a little bit smaller, like this size, you never know they might go into these. But, And then I have this one that's a little bit more opened and you can see the D shape is a little bit more better and it has more of the stick out cone looking. So either a purple pincher or a Ecuadorian can definitely go into this if it focus, focus, focus. Um, so yeah, so this is a beautiful shell. It's natural. I did have a purple pincher in here that was a like a smaller hermit crab that was actually in the shell and moved out of the shell a while back. But this would be good for Ecuadorian too if it was a smaller size Ecuadorian. So I don't have a lot of Ecuadorian hermit crab shells, but I definitely need to order a lot more of them. Um, especially for coconut since he is my only Ecuadorian and he definitely needs more shells. I do put shells in there for him, but he is just not interested. But he's super happy and, ex you know, he's super happy and healthy. And he just hangs out with his shell that he's in now. So here is like most of the samples of different ones that you can get for your Ecuadorian ones. As long as they are the D-shaped ones, you are good to go for these type of shells. And like I said, this one you can use for an Ecuadorian or a purple pincher. I have seen both inside of these shells. Now moving on to the purple pincher hermit crabs. These guys are a little bit more better and easier to own because they do not care what D shape or round shape that they like. Most uh, purple pincher hermit crabs absolutely love the turbo ones and these are mostly the ones that are like green, and kind of like brown color and stuff like that. They absolutely love these type of shells. So it's pretty much easy to find these in the store or online where you can order a whole bunch of them and your purple pincher hermit crabs are not very picky or anything like that. This one's kind of like a D shape, but our uh, purple pincher would actually go into this one more than an Ecuadorian. So, but these are the different types of shells that I got for all my purple pinchers. As you guys can see here, we have little tiny ones, big ones, medium sized ones. Now these shells are more like the rounder ones. They do like these, but they prefer more the turbo ones. They are like this and it has more of the, like the stuck out end to it. Then they do these. These have like the short part. It's not stuck out like more. But if you do buy a hermit crab from like Pesmo or Petco, when you buy the hermit crab, more likely they will be in these type of shells. I have noticed that many, many years that every time I had bought a hermit crab, especially at Petco, they're always in these type of shells. These are beautiful natural shells, and these are probably more the popular ones that are probably on uh, the beach and the ocean that they usually pick out when they get shells. So this is probably where they're most common at, and this is probably why they're always in these shells and not any of these shells. Now every once in a while I probably would get a hermit crab that might be in this type of shell like this, but it's not very often that I do get a hermit crab in this shell. It's pretty much always these right here. And I do have a lot of these. I do actually have a couple more of them in my tank too, but these are more like the popular ones that you will get when you buy a hermit crab. So we got those. Then here's another turbo that's a lot more bigger and the opening and stuff like that. 
and then we have these are a little bit more like heavier kind of like but these are more like the oval shape and these shaped ones too I do have a hermit crab that is probably in maybe this size maybe this is slightly bigger and that is my male purple pincher hermit crab and he's actually in one of these type of shells and he just loves it he's actually pretty a good size uh, hermit crab inside of that shell and he just loved these when I got these um, on the internet and probably like a three or four weeks later he actually moved out of one of his old shells and moved into one of these shells so these are actually pretty good shells and they're nice and natural looking I absolutely love them and then as you guys can see here I have this huge huge hermit crab shell when I ordered this I was not expecting it to be this big but it is huge now this would be perfect for Ecuadorian it's pretty much almost like this one and a purple pincher would probably use this so this could be either or Ecuadorian or a purple pincher but this shell is huge so whenever my hermit crabs actually get this size this would be perfect for one of them but it's probably going to take a very long time before I put this in there but it's a nice open up shell and I absolutely love it it's beautiful and natural and then I have more of the turbos right here that are the green ones I do have one that's probably like this size, maybe the next size up. And I actually have a hermit crab that um, moved out of this shell. It went into this beautiful green shell. So that was pretty cool. And then I have these white ones that are like this. And these are absolutely beautiful natural white shells. And they're so cute. And then I have another one of these turbo ones. These are more the rounder ones. So you have different shapes and sizes of shells. It all depends on if you're a hermit crab and everything. But always have different shapes and sizes of your shells because you never know how picky or stubborn your hermit crab will be. But as long as you get different varieties, you should be good. Like this one, as you guys can see here, it's almost like the same shape as these guys right here. But this one has the more rounder one. I actually did have a hermit crab in the shell. I actually bought a hermit crab, I think it was Pesmar or Petco, I can't remember which one. I think it was Petco, that a hermit crab that was a purple pincher that was actually in this shell. I mean, this shell, this hole is so tiny, as you guys can see. And he was actually in here, and then finally he moved out and went into one of these shells because it had a little bit more room into it. But all these shells are just perfect for your hermit crab now where can you buy hermit crab shells now every once in a while if you go to Pestmart or Petco you might find a couple of shells that usually have in like a little container that has like four different slots in it and they have like shells kind of like this or they'll have shells this or this and you might find one that's big enough for maybe a purple pincher, but definitely not for an Ecuadorian hermit crab. Um, but Pesmar and Petco are very hard to find hermit crab shells for them. So I had to go more into online to order my shells over the years. Um, the first place I used to order them was hermitcrabpatch.com. They have different types of sizes and shapes of shells. And I would order a couple of those and do online for them then when I got more into amazon.com that's where I found most of my shells that you guys see here now on amazon.com and you can have they have different types of varieties shapes sizes um, different natural ones that look like this and you can get most of these on amazon.com so if you're looking for shells and multiple ones Definitely check out Amazon.com. That's mostly the place that I've had the best luck at um, getting hermit crab shells. Now, if you guys do live like in Florida where there's beaches and they probably have like shells like this, it would probably be more better, uh, easier for you to get shells because you live in Florida and that's usually where you can get uh, shells for hermit crabs. But if you live in other states, it's probably best just to order online, find the best place where you can get your shells at like Amazon.com, TryHermitCrabPatch.com, or Etsy.com is the best three places that I know that you can get your hermit crab shells at. And right now I'm actually loving um, Amazon.com. That is the best place that I have gotten all of 
most of all of my shells like these and the turbo ones like the green ones and then some of these I did order on Amazon.com and usually it's like a pack of them and I think the highest I probably spent was maybe like $15 and I think you get like seven or eight of them and it all depends on which ones you are looking for um, I did see a lot of I've actually found a lot of D ones um, on Amazon.com but I do definitely want to order and try those out to see if coconut would like those type of D shape um, hermit crab shells so if you're looking for hermit crab shells definitely check out Amazon.com I will check there first and then go to the other places to see what's the prices and what's the best deal and what's the variety of the hermit crab shells but that is pretty much everything about hermit crab shells and about this video so I hope you guys enjoyed it please give this video a big thumbs up comment down below and definitely don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see more until next time I will see you guys in the next video bye